This card is from Queen Mab Oracle. I'm honestly not sure how to pronounce that. It's M-A-B, but it could be Mab or Mob. And then someone told me they always thought it was Meb, so my apologies. The author is Tess Whitehurst, and the publisher is Blue Angel. This card is The Wrath of Love. Open your heart. Drop your defenses. Love has hurt you. Now you are on a mission to hurt love back. Tragically, both humans and fairies can fall prey to the impulse to lash out at those we most care for, or even to preemptively punish those we would perceive as potentially withholding the love, support, admiration, or approval we desire. In romance, we become jealous, or perhaps our partner says something in a tone we hear as sarcastic or dismissive. We might even be responding to a relationship that has long passed, and our old pattern is resurfacing in another guise. Instead of allowing our tenderness to be seen and felt, which might help us heal the confusion at the root, we escalate the situation to all-out war by insulting, rejecting, or avoiding the very one we care for. It is especially unfortunate when you actively desire love. Yet because you have been so hurt or disappointed by love in the past, you see all would-be suitors through a veil of suspicion, and therefore reject them, attack them, or even avoid meeting them altogether. The same pattern can be at work in friendships, social situations, and any personal, career-related, or creative pursuit in which you would like your essence to be noticed and admired. And we would all like our essence to be noticed and admired. Such preemptive defensiveness happens when you cannot open your heart wide enough to let yourself be seen because you fear that if you do, it will only be wounded or excluded once again, which, you believe, would be too much pain for you to bear. Yet you do not realize that you have become the one who is doing the rejecting. You may think others are being cold to you, yet it could be more accurate to say that you are being cold to them. Perhaps they are responding to your chilliness in kind, or maybe you are projecting an imagined tone or attitude onto them, and mistaking your impression for absolute reality. If you choose to, you can spend an entire lifetime in the wrath of love. But if you truthfully want the companionship and camaraderie you profess to, you must leave your poison arrows behind.